Today we'll be going over the most minimalistic approach to installing a 90 degree fitting onto a high pressure power steering line. Here's a list of what you'll need. First, an oil can. I prefer to use the same oil can Dorothy lubed up the Tin Man with in Wizard of Oz. Next up on this short list are two of our American sourced billet aluminum AN wrenches. We'll be using the number four and the seven and a half in this application. Why no vice? Don't worry about it. Most people do have a vice, but they don't possess the appropriate equipment to not mar up the fittings or simply crush them all together, so we won't be using a vice. Next up, we have the high pressure line. You're going to want to check the end to make sure it's not frayed, and if it is, recut the line so it will accept that fitting without doubling the outer layer of the hose over itself, because that will cause leaks. I like to start out by putting a little bit of that conventional oil inside of the hose. Usually I would use a brush, but we didn't have one, so I'm just going to use the fitting itself to kind of spread it around in there. Only reason why I'm doing this now is because it's a little more difficult, or it will be a little more difficult, with that antique oil can to uh, get that lube inside with the fitting on. So I'm doing that preemptively. Uh, I squirted a little bit out onto the desk there to show you how much is coming out with each pump. And now it's time to install that socket portion of the fitting onto the high pressure line. This is a reverse threaded socket, lefty tidy, backwards is forwards, capish. Now make sure you've got the entire outer diameter of that hose tucked into the fitting, then begin applying downward pressure and turning the socket counterclockwise until it bottoms out then back it off a quarter turn. What that does is give that hose a little bit of relief to expand inside that socket without running the risk of cracking it. And now we break great grandpa's oil can back out to add a little lube to the equation. Lube up both the male and female portions fairly liberally. Insert and start threading the fitting by hand. Before it becomes too difficult, you want to grab those wrenches, secure the socket portion using the workbench for leverage, and run that 90 down. But not too far. The gap between the socket portion and the 90 portion should be about 30 thousandths, give or take. Reason being, if you bottom it out, it puts unnecessary pressure between the two aluminum pieces of this fitting, making it more prone to cracking, and if you don't run it down far enough into the hose, you increase the potentiality for leaks. And that concludes the installation portion of this video. If you've been following these steps, congratulations. You've just completed one end of a high pressure power steering line. If not, guess what? There's a replay button. Take that phone out to the garage, prop it up against the wall and press play. That's the beauty of the internet. Everything you upload to it lasts forever, especially since they came out with this screen grab technology. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. If you found this video to be the complete opposite, like and subscribe anyways. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to do my best impression of little baby Tyrannosaurus Rex arms and prance around the shop screaming something about an asteroid.